Yo, I scored a victory for us the other day, fellas. Um, but first, I want to talk about... Nah, uh, the elder put a video out about a dude who had a sex doll. And I was just reading the comments from people. You know, clowning the dude about it. But, you know, I left a comment that he deleted. I put it back up there like, yo, these women should be, like, worried. Because men, they're fallback men. The men that they choose after they waste their prime fertile years... Those men are now waking up and don't want nothing to do with your asses. And you laughing about it. It's going to fuck with y'all's resources, okay? Just in case, so y'all know. But they was uh, trying to diss a dude because he was white. But, you know, they, black women don't know that they are the last picked. If dudes walk away from white girls, they walk away from black women, they never ran to them. They never was an option for a lot of men. That's another thing with these black women... You was never an option for them white dudes, them Brad type dudes. You get yourself a bottom shelf Brad, that's fine if you want that. But white dude got options. That's that's how you know women don't see logic. If he's, you know, as far as society goes, he's got more power than anybody. But he's going to choose you. Somebody that's not feminine and just not. Well, we're getting off topic. But it kind of leads up to what I wanted to say. I'm going in McDonald's to have breakfast before I start work. There's some girl... Uh, needed a jump with her battery and you know I walked in gonna eat me some breakfast and then go to work I didn't plan on helping nobody jump their car so I was like yeah I'll come back out and help you when I'm done eating and you should have seen her mouth drop she couldn't believe that I didn't stop what I was doing to help her uh, she was moderately attractive she was young I saw her as I was coming in and she had her kid with her, so she was probably taking him to school. So she's probably like, I got this kid with me. I got to get him to school. And this fool is going to eat his breakfast before he comes and helps us. Yeah, exactly. Because really, to be honest with you, I really didn't want to help her. Because she wasn't no nice chick. That's the thing about a lot of, these, a lot of y'all black women, y'all ain't nice people. We're not talking about the ones who are fat and have to be nice. We're talking about... The so-called educated, independent, strong black woman that's pretty with no children. That bitch ain't nice. No. So even though this chick had a kid, she still wasn't nice. Like, if I was to talk, she wouldn't be interested in having no conversation with me. Even if it was something that she had an interest in. Let's say her favorite TV show was Power. I hate that show, by the way. And she... um. I started talking to her about it. Yeah, you see Power last night. Knowing that's her favorite show, she wouldn't want to have no real conversation with me. That's why I didn't want to help her. And I'm glad I didn't help her because I guess she got tired of waiting for me. So she called probably her baby's father, which is who she should have called in the first place. You know what I'm saying? And somebody, because when I came out, when I came out of McDonald's, some other car was in front of her car with both the hoods were up. So she made out okay, I guess. But that's the thing. My mission was to go to work, eat breakfast before I went to work, not help somebody, anybody, jump their car because of whatever reason. It looked like a fairly new car, so she must have left her lights on or something like that. But, you know, I didn't wake up, you know, you know, trying to help somebody. I didn't, you know what I mean? And, nah, because if my car was fucked up and couldn't, wouldn't charge up, I probably wouldn't even have asked her for a jump because she just had that type of demeanor about her to where she... She wasn't no nice person, man, as most of you black women are not.